Hello everybody out in Maple Surf World. Uh, we're gonna give you a little video on the new Venturi uh, evaporator put out by CDL. We had open house this weekend, so this is kind of for the people that didn't make it to the open house and want to know more about a Venturi evaporator and what they're all about. We have a two by six here, and I just took the front pan off, set it up there so we can show you the inside. We have an air-cooled door on the front. It's convection air that comes up through, keeps the door cool. We have a sight gauge, you can see your fire, which is standard on all our bigger machines, but we've went to putting it on the smaller ones now. The door is reversible. We can move the hinges and the latch to either side, on site. Uh, so depending on your sugar house, which way you want the door to swing, you can set that up. When you get there, if you don't like it swinging the way it is, just move the hinges and the lock. You can do that on site. Uh, same with the pans. The pans are reversible. The float boxes here, all can be on that side. If you look over here, all the fittings are here and capped. So they're completely reversible on both sides. We have a butterfly valve between the pan and the float box. Butterfly valve on the draw off. Large sight gauge on the flue pan. So they're top of the line pans. These fittings here are for a flow reverser on the two by six. I have one on the 3x12, I'll show you in a minute. Back here is your standard smokestack with a little bit of magic in this box. There's a blower and a few other things in here. This one's attached. This one is not. So you can mount the blower in an additional room to keep some sound out of your where you're cooking there. Keep your sugar house a little quieter. So you can mount them remotely. This one we mounted on here. All right, so in the front here, what this is all about, um, the Archie's Come Ceramic Blanket, already installed for you. You can have the bricks installed at the factory if you'd like, or you can brick it on site, whichever you prefer. So, and in the front down here is a damper, which you can allow so much air in. That's where it takes the air into the machine and draws it through the machine and out. So it's a smooth, even flow on it. On a negative pressure to a positive pressure. Everybody kind of asks, well, what's negative pressure all about? Well, when you're pulling the air through, it creates a negative pressure in your uh, firebox. So it's pulling air out. So if you have a void between pans or anywhere in your arch, instead of blowing heat or smoke out, it's going to be drawing uh, air in. So you'll never have smoke in your sugar house or, you know, air coming out. It'll never be hot. It'll be a lot easier on your arch because it's not forcing hot air into your arch. If there happens to be a void in the arch for some reason, it'll bring air in instead of pushing it out. Uh, and the boil is much more even. With forced air, you're filling this box with air to burn and it creates positive pressure in there. If you use the Magna Healy gauge, you would see that it's a positive pressure in there. And when that happens, it creates like a like a blow furnace in there or a torch against the bottom of the pan because it's blowing the heat right up against the pan and you build more niter. It's a little harder to control the boil where this one is pulling the air through the pans and it's much easier to boil. When you open your door, you did that with a forced air machine, you would have smoke, ash, flame, everything come out the door. With ours, once you're set up and running, you got your damper where you like it, I could leave this door open and it just draws the ash and the flame and the heat away from you. So once you're running, you never touch your blower. So if you got somebody helping you, you don't have to worry about shutting the blower off, turning the blower on, didn't you remember to turn the blower on. You just, uh, it's a very, very simple machine to run. This here is a pan tensioner. Um, you compare this pan tensioner to anybody else's. This is the top of the line pan ten tensioner. Uh, if we go over to the 3x12 here, we have hoods on it, which you can get the same hoods for the small ones. Our preheater is stainless steel on the inside. After this year, anybody licensed need to have uh, stainless preheaters, no more copper. Copper has to be out of your system, um, just to, to get rid of any chance of lead. Back to, we have a butterfly valve between the float box and the pan. This is a standard float box. We also have a, a niter catching float box. So as the sap comes from the back pan to the front pan, 
this the float box will be bigger and it has a, a chamber in there where the niter settles out before it goes into your front pan so that's an option nobody else has our flow reverser is all butterfly valves nobody else has that in their system a lot of guys use uh, ball valves there instead of butterfly valves. This ball valve is just a drain. Uh, you have an option of a front pan sight level here. We've had that on our bigger machines for years. Now they're putting it on uh, all the machines as an option. If this pan is exactly the same as the small ones, you can switch sides. You can move all this to the other side if you wanted to. Even with a preheater, there's fittings on the other side to preheater. All this can flip right over to the other side with uh, no problem. So you're looking at that. Uh, if you happen to have a sugar house where you don't have access to a lot of hot water, this is an option here. We have a little pan that sits behind the flue pan ahead of the uh, base stack. You can put water in it, get yourself a pail of hot water. Uh, a lot of guys will plumb their per permeate in there and then out an overflow on the other side. So they always have a hot water source. So if you need a pail of hot water to clean the floor down or clean something up, it's an option you can have. Something nobody else has got. Uh, so there's a lot of good options on it. They're a very fast machine. Um, you can run them wide open. Everybody talks how fast they are. This one is very, very fast. If you run it at max temperature in the stack and that, it'll run as faster than any machine out there. But if you're looking at wood e efficiency, most guys will run it where they're comfortable. You won't run it, you know, like you stole it. You know, you won't get in a vehicle and drive 100 all the time, even though they'll do that. Uh, you can, you'll just be coming back to see me sooner. But <laughs> So, you know, it, it's a very fast, very easy machine to run, very well constructed. You see the black sides, we can line that with stainless. If you got a sugar house, you want a little more of a show place. Uh, there's a stainless steel skin we can put over it and we can make the base of the arch all stainless line. So there's lots of options, you know, lots of good features. Uh, right now it's the, the top wood burning evaporator out there. Um, you'll hear a lot of people talking about it. I've seen them run at the factories. They did a test this spring and they boil very, very evenly, smoothly, very easy to run. Um, you don't have any, you know, levers and dampers to play with and stuff like the intensile fire. You can't run this as gasification, but very few people do use an evaporator in the gasification mode. Uh, they want to go as fast as they can and still be safe and comfortable. So this is the machine that I would recommend to anybody uh, out there. It's backed by CDL, who is the largest uh, maple equipment manufacturer in the world. Um, we're here in the Midwest. We have several stores throughout the Midwest to back, back it up. So you have plenty of support. If other parts of the maple world, there's plenty of CDL stores out there that help you with service, uh, questions, any of that. Go ahead and you know give us a call and I'll walk you through it. I'll give you some of the numbers on uh, evaporation and that, but I don't know what else uh, that you know you'd like to know. But whatever it is, give me a call. Thanks. And come and see. You can see it on our website, um, RossSugarBush.com.